In this video, we will be solving this question which says, remember Charlie from chapter 3? Charlie consumes apples and bananas. We had a look at two of his indifference curves. In this problem, we give you enough information so you can find all of Charlie's indifference curves. We do this by telling you that Charlie's utility function happens to be u of x a comma x b is equal to x a multiplied by x b. With this information, we are asked, Charlie has 40 apples and 5 bananas. Charlie's utility for the bundle 40 comma 5 is u of 40 comma 5 which is equal to dash and we are asked to fill in the blanks. Next, the indifference curve through 40 comma 5 includes all the commodity bundles xa comma xb such that xa xb is equal to dash. So, the indifference curve through 40 comma 5 has the equation xb is equal to dash. On the graph, draw the indifference curve showing all of the bundles that Charlie likes exactly as well as the bundle 40 comma 5. Let's begin. Here firstly, we know that u of xa comma xb is equal to xa multiplied by xb where xa is the number of apples consumed by Charlie which is equal to 40 as given in the question and xb is the number of bananas consumed by charlie which is equal to 5 so that would be bananas is equal to 5 now we are asked charlie's utility for the bundle 40 comma 5 which is u of 40 comma 5 that is we have to calculate this function at the point 40 comma 5 so all you have to do is just substitute the values of xa and xb with 40 and 5 respectively. So that would be 40 comma 5 is equal to 40 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 200. So this is your 200. So the utility that the Charlie gets by consuming 40 apples and 5 bananas is 200. Next we are asked the indifference curve through 40 comma 5 includes all the commodity bundles xa comma xb such that xa xb is equal to dash. Now note that the indifference curve through 40 comma 5 will have all those commodity bundles which give Charlie the exact utility as the bundle 40 comma 5 which we just calculated is 200. Thus we want all those combinations of apples and bananas such that the utility is same as much as he gets from consuming the consumption bundle 40 comma 5 which we calculated here to be 200. So your answer is x a x b should be equal to 200. This becomes again 200. Now the question further asks us so the indifference curve through 40 comma 5 has the equation of xb is equal to dash. Now we know that this equation represents all the combinations of the consumption bundle which lie on the same indifference curve as the point 40 comma 5. That means this equation is nothing but the equation of your indifference curve passing to the point 40 comma 5. But the question asks us the equation in the form of xb is equal to something. So let's rearrange this and we will get that xb is equal to 200 divided by xa. So this becomes 200 divided by xa. Also the question asks us on the graph draw the Charlie's indifference curve showing all the bundles that Charlie likes exactly as well as the bundle 40 comma 5. So this is a graph where on the x-axis you have apples and on the y-axis you have banana and this is your consumption bundle 40 comma 5 and we have to draw the indifference curve showing all the consumption bundles that Charlie likes exactly as well as the bundle 40 comma 5. That means we want to draw all the combinations of those bundles which give Charlie the same level of utility that he gets from consuming the consumption bundle 40 comma 5 which is nothing but your 200 and as we calculated here that all those combination bundles will give you the equation as xa multiplied by xb is equal to 200 or rearranging it it would be xb is equal to 200 divided by xa so graphing this your indifference curve would look like this this blue curve where it passes through the point 40 comma 5 and this indifference curve shows all of the bundles that Charlie likes exactly as well as the bundle 40 comma 5 which gave him the utility of 200. Now let's move on to the next part 
which says donna offers to give charlie 15 bananas if he will give her 25 apples would charlie have the bundle that he likes better than 40,5 if he makes this trade what is the largest number of apples that donna could demand from charlie in return from 15 bananas she expects him to be willing to trade or at least be indifferent about the trading and we are also given a hint that if donna gives charlie 15 bananas he will have a total of 20 bananas and if he has 20 bananas how many apple does he need in order to be as well off as he would be without trade now x a represents the number of apples consumed by charlie and x b represents the number of bananas consumed by charlie originally charlie had the consumption bundle as 40 and 5 where he was consuming 40 apples and 5 bananas now donna offers to give him 15 bananas so that means his bananas would be plus 15 if he will give her 25 apples so that would be minus 25 thus the final consumption bundle would be 15 apples and 20 bananas let's call this consumption bundle as x a dash and x b dash such that his original consumption bundle was x a comma x b which is equal to 40 comma 5 and after trading with donna he is at the consumption bundle x a dash and x b dash which is equal to 15 comma 20 and we are asked if charlie will prefer this bundle than this bundle that means will the consumption bundle x a dash and x b dash give charlie the higher level of utility as compared to the consumption bundle x a and x b in the previous part we learned that the utility he gets from the consumption bundle x a and x b which is your ut would be utility from the consumption bundle 40 comma 5 is nothing but 200 And so let's calculate the utility that he get from the consumption bundle x a dash and x b dash. That would be u of x a dash comma x b dash is equal to u of fifteen comma twenty. Where we know that utility function is of the form x a comma x b is equal to x a multiplied by x b. So this would be fifteen multiplied by twenty. which is nothing but 300 and if you compare this value with this value you will see that the utility that he gets from the consumption bundle 15 comma 20 is greater than the utility that he gets from the consumption bundle 40 comma 5 that is your 300 is more than 200 Hence, Charlie would prefer the trade since his utility increases. Thus, Charlie will make this trade, and thereby he would land up having the consumption bundle fifteen comma twenty. That is, utility increases. That means Charlie will trade, or we can say that he will have a consumption bundle that he likes better than forty comma five if he makes this trade. Thus, the answer to this question is yes. Now let's move on to the second half of this question, which says, "What is the largest number of apples that Donna could demand from Charlie in return for 15 bananas if she expects him to be willing to trade or at least be indifferent about trading?" Now let the number of apples after making the trade be equal to x a star, and the trade happens that Donna is offering. Charlie fifteen bananas. So Charlie initially was having five bananas. If he is getting additional fifteen bananas, then the total amount of bananas after the trade is twenty. Hence, his new consumption bundle would be x a star comma twenty, where he was originally consuming forty comma five. Now the question ask ask what. Is the largest number of apples that Donna could demand from Charlie in return of fifteen bananas if she expects him to be willing to be trade or at least be indifferent about trading? So Charlie would be indifferent about the trading if the utility after the trade would be equal to the utility he was getting from the consumption bundle before the trade, and he would make the trade if this utility, if the utility levels from the new consumption bundle. Exceeds the utility he was getting before the trade. That was the utility he was getting from the consumption bundle, forty comma five. Thus, we get the equation as u of x a star comma twenty is greater than equal to utility he gets from the consumption bundle, forty comma five, which is two hundred. 
and we know that the utility function in this particular case takes the value of x a multiplied by x b so that would be x a star multiplied by 20 should be at least 200 or x a star should be greater than or equal to 10 hence his new consumption bundle is now 10 comma 20 where he was originally consuming the consumption bundle of 40 comma 5 Thus, the maximum difference between these two consumption bundle that is the maximum difference in the number of apples between these two consumption bundle is 40 minus 10 which is equal to 30. Hence, the largest number of apples that Donna could demand from Charlie in return of 15 bananas if she expects him to be willing to trade or at least be indifferent about trading is 30 apples because Charlie won't trade if his New consumption bundle has the number of apples less than 10. That's why if you come see here, Charlie was having 15 apples. That's why he was willing to trade. But his number of apples after the trade go below 10, then he would just call off the trade and would stay put at his original level of consumption, which was 40,5. Hence, the maximum number of apples that Donna could demand from him would be 30 apples, leaving him with the 10 apples post-trade. Hence, the answer to this question is 30 apples. So, that was all for this question.